Hi, welcome back. I want back. to do a flip through of what I drew in September. This is, uh oh, I can't remember the name now. The Linton, <laughs> Linton something. I will list it down below. This is what I purchased for my A5 diary and it fits perfectly in here. I just love this thing. And it's hard to see, but it does sparkle with the silver thread. This is the bag that came with the planner and I need this bag because I do have a dog. I do have Bruce. He's our English Bulldog and this keeps it fur free. Sometimes Kit Kat comes in um, and does, you know, walk around and uh, keeping the cover inside this bag helps protect any fur from getting into it. So this is the inside. And so for my A5 planner does fit into this particular zip cover. I did have to cut down my homemade uh, pencil board so that it would fit. And I think I need to trim it down just a little bit more so that it will fit in the zip cover perfectly. And the other thing that I didn't show when I purchased uh, this cover is that there is a pocket back here, which I don't think I'm going to use but if I did, it would probably be a handy place to put paper, receipts, any ephemera maybe that you picked up if you decided to take this guy out. So let's go to September. <laughs> okay, so for the first I didn't do anything. I do keep track of the weather over here. So here is a picture of an octopus walking on the ocean floor. I just thought it looked funny and kind of cute. This is Nakoda. It's the rare white grizzly bear from Canada, female. So I didn't color her in. This was a really neat picture that I found uh, on Facebook from a Facebook page called Japan Moments and it showed an old bookstore in Nagano, Japan. It's a traditional looking building surrounded by two modern buildings. So I think this would look better once it's painted in, but for now it is just sketched in like that. I don't know if you can tell. That's supposed to be a roller coaster. Let me move you in closer. Let me see. How's that? So there's the roller coaster in Long Beach. Okay, I don't know how well this is gonna show up. That's supposed to be, I don't know. I didn't write it down. Uh-oh. I'm gonna have to look at my iPad to see what this creature is. This is the North Atlantic right whale. And it's one of the world's most endangered large whale species. So this is what it looks like in 2023. This is the Chinese paddlefish, one of the world's largest fish and it's gone extinct. Okay, so right about this time, I got on this kick of drawing extinct animals. Uh, so this is one of them, native to China. This is a, another extinct animal. This is a smooth handfish, and I think it came out pretty nice. But it is now extinct, but it used its fins and kind of walked along the seafloor. This is a splendid poison frog also extinct and it's a beautiful red color was a beautiful red color this is called the labrador duck last known duck was shot by a hunter in 1878 on long island new york wanted to draw his picture and just remember this is the western black rhino it was declared extinct in 2011 um, and I love rhinos. I don't have my red cover. That's in the bedroom. This is Pioneer Takeout. This is the logo sign. So if you watched my cousin uh, flip through for September, we went to a fried chicken place to pick up chicken for the three of us to eat. And 
This is their logo and I think it came out really good. I am so proud of myself for drawing this. But they have the best fried chicken. They were bought out by Popeyes. And I think there are only two locations left here in Southern California. This is the doo doo, dodo, doo doo, <laughs> bird, extinct. Here's another one. This is the great, is it pronounced auk, A U K? And it's not related to a penguin. This is supposed to be a blue extinct butterfly. Is it pronounced Ursies? Blue extinct. Guam flying fox. It is a uh, fruit bat. The yellow crazy ant. I thought, I think I was reading an article and I read yellow crazy ant and I thought it was like a joke. But it really exists. They have really long legs, which I obviously did not. I wasn't able to express in this dressing uh, drawing. The Chinese mer dolphin, also maybe extinct. Ivory billed woodpecker. I really need to color it in. So this one has a little bit of gray coloring in. As a reminder to myself that when I finally watercolor it, the gray is going to be black and that it has the white part that's not colored in is going to be white. And that's it. And then uh, some family things came Instead, up. I just kept writing in the weather and the humidity. But it's been fun trying to doodle every day in here for, the, for this past month. So... That is a flip through of my, let me back this up a little bit, of my A5 Hobonichi Diary. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you'd like to see after the pin videos of my Hobonichi. And uh, I will see you guys later. Bye.